Why did I start YouTube? Well, it all started when I was little. Right here. It was because of this. It was because of this right here. The Canon PowerShot A490, Christmas 2010. My mom was really into photography and for Christmas, she bought me a new camera. Before I had resorted to taking pictures and videos on a DSi that I had. Hey, it's Cassie here. Say hello to all the people watching. Okay, well, I wanna say hi to the day you're gonna crush my DSi. But that wasn't quite doing the trick. On this bad boy right here, I started making videos. Still works. Let's take a picture. So it was because of this that I first got inspired to make a YouTube channel. Now in 2010, I wasn't really thinking about the interwebs and how are people going to see my videos. I just made videos for fun. I wanted to document my life. I think when Hurricane Sandy hit, I recorded a little bit of it. I just wanted to remember that moment. Hurricane Irene. So it's because of that camera that I started getting into photography and making videos and then my mom got me this computer. This tiny little Aspire one. I did everything on this. I used Windows Live Movie Maker to make videos for myself personally. I would make mini movies. I still remember I made this huge Christmas movie and it was like this huge project for me. And even though I never shared it, I still really cared about my work and making videos. I would make videos on my iPod with my friends. There was an app called Video Star where I'd make like music videos and stuff back in like 2012. I've always been into photography and videos. And the reason why I decided to create a YouTube channel was not only because I wanted to share my ideas and my content with the world and with friends and family, but I also wanted to document my life. When I first started YouTube, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was just experimenting. So I started out being a beauty guru, and that is not like me at all, I'm not. I didn't know anything about that. I just went in blind. I saw some YouTubers doing it. I really liked their channel, and I was like, I can do that. And then I bought makeup, and I just, I never made videos about makeup. The first video, I think it was what I got for Black Friday, my Black Friday haul, where it didn't need a lot of my effort. And soon I realized that that kind of channel is not for me and I started switching to like more comedic videos. Trying to make funny videos with my friends. We made dare videos, like truth or dare videos. I still have them all, but I won't ever upload them to YouTube again. And I quit YouTube for a while. When I started my new YouTube channel, I said I left YouTube for a uh, classified reason. I don't think I'll ever share that. And I wasn't on YouTube for about two years. When I took a break, I got a new camera and I used it to make films for my school. I was even in a computer fair project and I made movies. Um, my one film called Unplugged won first place in the computer fair and then we went to states and we didn't win. It also wasn't my original film, but that's a story for another time. I knew I had to get back, but I was deciding to come back to YouTube after I graduated 8th grade. I think it was the summer between 8th grade and 9th grade. I had this whole plan to make short films and I did for a while, but why I really wanted to make videos was to help document what I've learned and make films about it. Uh, the things going on in my life I wanted to talk about document it and put it on here. I also wanted to make a difference. I want my videos to change people's lives to uh, help motivate them to be better and live a more ambitious life. And then I got closer to God and now I'm starting to implement my faith into my YouTube channel and now I want to share God's love and my faith with you, the audience. So there are a lot of reasons why I started a YouTube channel and a lot of reasons why I love my YouTube channel. And I will continue to make YouTube videos to document my life and with the purpose of inspiring others and making a difference in their life. So that's why I started YouTube and that's why I will continue to make YouTube videos. I don't do it to make money. I don't do it for the subscribers. I don't do it for any reason other than pure drive to motivate people to make a difference in their lives and to make them smile and to document my life. 
and what I'm learning. I will continue to make YouTube videos. I also do it to give glory to God. If he puts something on my heart that he wants me to share, then I will share it. And half the time, I pick up the camera not knowing what I'm going to talk about. And then I talk about something and then somebody comes and talks to me after I upload and it was like, wow, I really needed to hear that. Or wow, I was just thinking about that. And that is God right there. And I even have another YouTube channel called Wific, Walking in Faith in Christ, where I mainly focus on my faith and my walk with God. And my other friends have the channel with me and they uh, contribute to uploads as well. And I totally think you guys should check it out if you are interested in, in all my faith videos. And if you're interested in learning about Jesus and just learning about Christianity in general and where we all stand, then yeah, feel free to check it out. But for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time and I will... Catch you later. Peace out, guys. God bless.